Calculating the area of compound shapes. Area is the space inside a 2D shape. The rule for calculating the area of a rectangle is length times width. So to find the area of this shape, we take the length and we multiply it by the width. 7 meters times 4 meters is 28 meters squared. We always use squares to measure area. For example, square meters, square centimeters, square kilometers, and so on. This formula works for rectangles, but how do we go about working out the area of a shape like this? This shape is an example of a compound, or a composite, shape. Compound shapes are shapes that are made up of two or more basic shapes. We can't simply use the formula of length times width. Let's see what would happen if we did. If we were to multiply the length, 8 meters, by the width, also 8 meters, we would get 64 meters squared. But that would actually be this whole area. And that won't work, because we're only interested in this shape. Our area is going to be smaller than that. So what can we do? Well, if we break down a compound shape into more simple geometric shapes, for example rectangles, then we can work out the area of those simple shapes, rather than this compound shape. This shape can be broken down into two rectangles. I'll draw a line here to show that. Now that we're working with two rectangles, we'll be able to use our formula of length times width. The only thing we need now is to work out the length and width of each rectangle. Let's have a closer look at each of our rectangles, starting with this one. We can see that the width is 2 meters and the length is 8 meters. Let's apply the formula to calculate the area of this rectangle. 8 meters times 2 meters equals 16 meters squared. The area of this part of our compound shape is 16 meters squared. Now let's move on to this rectangle. We can see that the width is 4 meters. Now we have this measurement of 8 meters, but that is the length from here to here. Instead, we need to find this length, that is, from here to here. We can use the other measurements we've been given to help us do that. Can you see how? We know the overall length is 8 meters, and we also know that this side of the first rectangle we calculated is 2 meters. We can subtract 2 meters from 8 meters to find this length. This length is 6 meters. Now we have both the length and the width, we can calculate the area. 6 times 4 equals 24. The area of this part of our compound shape is 24 meters squared. Our compound shape is made up of two rectangles. This rectangle has an area of 24 meters squared, and this rectangle has an area of 16 meters squared. We can add those two measurements together to find the total area of our compound shape. 24 meters squared plus 16 meters squared equals 40 meters squared. Let's try this strategy again with a different compound shape. We need to start off by breaking the shape down into simple geometric shapes. Now there are different ways to do this. In our first example, we used these two rectangles. But we could have instead used these two rectangles. It's best to break the shapes down in a way that is going to make it easiest for you. I'm going to use these simple shapes, three rectangles. I'll need to work out the length and width of each. Some measurements are already there, for others I'll have to use reasoning skills to work them out. I'll start with this rectangle, because I already have the length, 6 meters, and the width, 4 meters. 6 times 4 equals 24. The area of this rectangle is 24 meters squared. Now on to this rectangle. I know the width is 3 meters, 
but I still need to work out the length. This line is 6 metres long, and this line is 3 metres long. The total length of this rectangle must be 6 metres plus 3 metres, giving us a total of 9 metres. Now we can calculate length times width. 9 times 3 equals 27. The area of this rectangle is 27 metres squared. Now for the last rectangle. We'll need to work out the length and the width. Let's start with the length. This line is 12 metres. This portion is 4 metres, and this portion is 3 metres. That means together, this distance is 7 metres. If we subtract 7 metres from 12 metres, it will tell us this distance here. 12 metres subtract 7 metres is 5 metres. Now on to the width. We worked out earlier that this distance is 9 metres. We can see that this distance here is 5 metres. We can subtract 5 from 9 to find this length. 9 metres take away 5 metres equals 4 metres. This rectangle has a width of 4 metres. Now we can multiply the length by the width. 5 metres times 4 metres. The area of this rectangle is 20 metres squared. Now all that's left is adding the area of each rectangle to find the total area of our compound shape. 24 metres squared plus 27 metres squared plus 20 metres squared equals 71 metres squared. easyteaching.net